Hello guys, Christian here. Camera setup sheet tutorial part 3. In part 1 I showed you how to modify your company's logo. In uh, part 2 I showed you how to add a new column in your template with a new value x, y, feed rate for example, but I, you can develop more parameters inside your setup sheet. Today in part 3 I will show you how to add another image of your part in order for the CNC operator to have a better understanding of the program zero, of the finished, finished part and so on. So I will use the same template like in part 1 and part 2 just to be clear, but you can do the same thing in your template or in uh, existing templates in Camus. I don't uh, I, I want to remind you about the ability of Camus to cu customize everything including setup sheet. This is very important and very easy. So, this is a part I will generate a setup sheet using my template And I, I need another image next to this one. So, in the setup sheet tutorial installed on your computer, you have all the variables you can enter in the setup sheet, the general variables. But don't be afraid, you can add more because Camus is it's very easy and very customizable even if you don't know the actual name of the variable. And I will show you how easy it is. So, use for the setup sheet Notepad++. Of course, I need to find something about uh, uh, an image. So, how, how, can we how can you find something about the image. Well, if you look closely on the, um, on the setup sheet template, I have an uh, image at the beginning and in the end. So let's, in the, in the beginning, I don't want to change my company's logo, but in the end I have these lines, which will generate a SOLIDWORKS isometric view. So, what do you need to do? Just copy all these three lines, insert it here, and be sure to, to copy all the files, all, all the lines with all the signs. So, the XSL value right now, it will change from solid or seismic view to SOLIDWORKS front view, left view, right view, top view, and bottom view. So all you need to do is go back to your template and modify isometric with, let's say, front view. Okay, save it, go back to cameras, generate again a setup sheet, the same template, yes. And now you have two new photos. And right now, in my opinion, the operator for this part have all the information in this simple setup sheet. So, use it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me via LinkedIn or my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.